Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, and it's time to make some soap. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing, actually the next, I think, four weeks, I'm going to be doing a series of landscape soaps. I've done them all several times, with the exception of one. We'll get to that one a little bit later. But what I'm doing today is um, almost exactly from Soap Queen, uh, Sahara Sunset. So I'll be la making layers of different colors to represent the sun. This is actually going to be the sun. This is just cold processed soap, and I even cut the bottom off so it lays on a black layer like it's sitting over the horizon. So, I have quite a few colors here. Um, these are all Brambleberry colors because this came from Soap Queen and I'm doing it exactly. It's my recipe, but other than that, everything is just exactly like Soap Queen. So, and it's going to be a combination of these colors to make the layers. Fizzy, uh, fizzy yellow, lemon, <laughs> fizzy lemonade yellow, tangerine wow, electric bubblegum, hot pink, merlot sparkle, and black oxide. Okay. Have everything cooled down to about 110. I'm going to be scenting it with Brambleberry's Bergamot Black Tea. This is really a favorite of mine because it behaves well. It does have a bit of a masculine scent, which I think will look nice and go nice in the soap. Behaves well, really lasts a long time in cold process. I'm going to be sending uh, some of these bars off on a trip to a couple of friends of mine who've helped me out on YouTube, and that's all I'm going to say on that for now. They're going to cure here in my lab. And then we'll be sending them out in four to five weeks. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, this is a long video. And thanks to a friend of mine out west, I do have some editing software. She led me to it. I tried it and I liked it. So I that's why you no longer see a making video followed by a cutting video. I can very, very easily combine the two videos. This is a long video, and I haven't quite yet figured out how to edit it or speed things up, so I probably won't be able to do that yet with this video. And my camera will only record for a certain amount of time, so I'll have to stop and come back more than likely. But thanks to Filmora software, uh, I can put it all together. It'll be almost instantaneous for you guys. I am working on getting some new equipment, still using my... There you can see it. Still using my digital camera. It's just a simple point-and-shoot camera. I am looking into some other cameras or some other recording equipment, but for now, that's what we have. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start that, stop this video and start a new one, and we're going to make some Okay, sense. so we're back. We're going to get everything mixed up. My lye and water mixed up, get a light emulsification, and get it into five different containers. Once again, while this is my recipe, and I'll post it below, um, this is taken from Soap Queen almost exactly. I'll copy and paste the color instructions down below if you'd like to try this. This really is a nice, nice, and a fun soap to do. going to be a lot of stick blending because we want a pudding thick trace for each of these layers to support and be able to sculpt. So, she said in each of the cups to put about 300 milliliters of soap, which is about right there for me, the third line up. So we'll go ahead and start. Get these into five. Plus, I'm going to break this out. I 
Generally don't do that, but I am with this because I want all of this. And there we have it, and it's just shy of 300, so that's good. Now, what we're going to do is start with the black. I'm going to set those aside for right now. And I have notes over here, so I'm going to put a little bit of my fragrance oil in. And in this one, we are to put in one half teaspoon black oil. We need a thick trace. I gotta wash that off real quick. I told you this is a messy soap. There's no question about it. Get you into the picture. Get this up to a nice thick trace. it will be nice and thick and ready to set. So let's get this into my mold. We're going to stir it in. Excuse me, we're going to spoon it in. Scrape this out because I just want to get as much of this as I possibly can into the mold. You heard me say at the beginning, this is a messy, messy soap. To me, or at least it is for me. Okay, I'm going to clean the sides down because I don't want this black sticking to the sides of my soap. And that's nice and textured. Now we are going to... see that down in there. So what we're going to do now is lay the sun down there. I'm going to put, you know, the cut edge at the bottom so it sort of looks like it's sitting on the horizon. And this is a little bit shorter than my mold. Not a whole lot I can do. Just kind of gently place it so it fills in the gaps. Let's set the mold aside and work on the next one. So my next one... clean the stick blender off. Normally I like to go lightest to darkest. This one I have no choice but to go the opposite direction. A, this is going to be the dark red, so we want a 
one teaspoon of Merlot Sparkle. One teaspoon of Tangerine Wow. One half teaspoon of electric bubble gum, which is the hot pink. And just a few drops of black. Okay, now wash my hands again. This is dreadfully messy, I agree. And at least I cannot make it anything other. I put my scent oil in, I almost forgot that. Mix this up to a thick trace. will be spooned in. Scrape this out to get the majority of it into this soap container. And just kind of play with that to have a texture because I don't want smooth, even lines. And then I'm going to clean down the side just a little bit. Okay, set that aside. It's really, let's see, how's our time doing? Uh, we're still good. All right, it is time for the third layer, light orange. So light, two and a half teaspoons of tangerine well. Merlot Sparkle. Okay, put my scent in. Clean the oil off my hands again.
the next layer in. down a little bit. There you go. Now we are ready for the next layer. still holding up well. I'm going to clean down the sides just a little bit because I don't want this on the side of my soap. Clean up the top a little. Okay, let's do fourth layer. Boy, we're setting up over here. So let's get this sent in. So the tendering yellow. So two teaspoons of tangerine wow. Then we have one more layer to go. Let's see, how is our time doing? We're good. We clean the stick blender and we'll do this final layer. So for the final, it is
fizzy lemonade and I simply do not have any tangerine wow left. So it's going to be a bright bright yellow. So what we'll do is try to keep that from spilling over so I don't have a rough edge when I cut it. And there we have it, folks. I have a little bit left over from these two colors, which I will just put into a mold to use for myself. Oops. Now this, I'm going to let that sit up even though it's pretty daggone thick and we're almost out of time anyway. I'm going to let that sit up, spray it with alcohol, probably come back about 10 minutes later and spray it again. But anyway, there we go, Sahara Sunset. I hope this turns out as well as it has the last times. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry this one's so long and so messy. One of these days I'll learn how to edit the software and I can fast forward it, but at this moment I can't. Anyway, I'll see you hopefully tomorrow for the cutting. Bye. Hi, everybody. We're back to cut the soap. Um, had a couple issues with this one. I ran out of the orange color, so that orange is not as vivid as it was supposed to be. And then the top yellow is a little more yellow than I wanted. It was supposed to have some orange in it. And got a few gaps. And that sometimes happens when you have a really thick batter. So let's just cut in and see. This is maybe not the best one I've made. Although the inside looks nice. So overall, it's just cosmetics on the side. No, the inside looks really nice. Yeah, I'm happy with this.
There's a gap right there. Oh yeah, that one goes all the way through. Can you see the hole all the way through it? Oh well. That's one benefit. When you're giving your soap away, you're not selling it. You don't have to worry about trying to sell it at a discount because it's given away people who receive it are always grateful just the same. So the vast majority of them are really nice. Oops, yeah. I knew the sun didn't quite make it all the way through. So here's a thin one for me to test. It has no sun at all, which is fine. It looks pretty nice without the sun even. That's just for me to test it. So minor problems, but it's no big deal. Overall, I'm very happy with it. I do know when I do it again, I'm going to mix up a little more orange color. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. So there we have it, Sahara Sunset, thanks to Soap Queen. Anyway, folks, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.